Hello, this is Leo at the Lead Time. In today's video, I want to show you how to make a pine essential oil by steam distillation from a pine needles. And I'll also explain some general rules you want to follow to have the best distillation at home. So after we collect the material, the first step is just clean up and pick up the bad part like uh, the yellow leaf or some rotten the flowers. Um, when I was picking up the needle, I was doing the like a pre-select, uh, so I find the best part I can get. So there is not much like um, uh, yellow needles, but if you find some and just take it out. Um, when we are doing a small batch distillation, the quality become uh, more important. The second step is that we want to cut it into a small pieces. The smaller pieces can help improve the distillation. For large volume, it's not so important. Again, for the small volume distillation, this can help improve the efficiency so we can get as much as possible. You don't want to cut a very small piece. Uh, you don't want to like a, a ground it, like a powder, coffee powder, because that can clog easily clog your uh, distiller. So you want them into uh, pieces like this, or the crushed particles, so the steam can go through uh, the material bed. The last step is to rinse it, just clean off the dust. So today I'm doing the two column, double column distillation. This is the second column. Add a two liter of water in the pot, and this is a column filled with a two liter of. Also, I'm using the circulation to help uh, cool down, do the condensation, so that when the steam come down here, so they will be uh, condensed by because soaking in the cold water. And then today I use the oil and a hydrosol separator. I have another video explaining how this works. You can watch that one. When the distillate coming out, started coming out, so it's uh, already a layer of uh, oil, uh, golden color oil, uh, floating on top of the hydrosol. So now I collect uh, around 500 milliliter uh, hydrosol and a layer of uh, essential oil. As a euro, I gotta show you the color of uh, the hydrosol. So you can see it's uh, cloudy, uh, not as cloudy as uh, lavender hydrosol, but it's still cloudy because the oil dispersed in the hydrosol. Pine needle contain a lot of uh, volatile compounds, mainly including pinin, alpha and beta pinin, cyanel. Those are good anti-inflammatory, antibacterial reagents. So 
for the use of a hydrosol it's essential oil it's a good for external use for the skin toner and the house cleaning when they do the anti-inflammation and the bacteria those good stuff they also bring the beautiful flavor of the pantry inside the house thank you for watching uh, leave your questions and comments down there and how you use your pantry the hydrosol or the essential oil subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about medicinal herbs and the benefits how to use them see you next time